Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I just want to introduce normal strain. So the definition of normal strain is just uh, is the deformation of an axially loaded member per unit length. And we use the Greek letter epsilon here to, uh, to represent normal strain. So if you imagine we have a member like this with a length of L, and we apply a force to the end, uh, an axial force to the end, it's actually going to stretch out a little bit. And we label that deformation with the uh, lowercase delta. So if we, let's attach some numbers to this. So if we say that our, our original length of this member was 1.5 meters, and uh, let's say after we apply this load here, we get a delta of 2.5 millimeters, uh, so that would be 0 0.0025 meters. Then if we want to calculate the strain, all we do is we just divide uh, delta by L, the original length, and we get 0 0.0225 or 0 0.025 meters uh, divided by 1.5 meters. And we get our uh, normal strain here of 0 0.00167. And you'll notice that the meters here cancel out. And uh, you'll see that strain is actually just a unitless number. So that's all that normal strain is. It's just the deformation of an axially loaded member divided by the original length of that member. Um, you'll notice, uh, you, you might be thinking about the cross-sectional area. Um, and uh, the cross-sectional area will determine how much of a deformation we get under a certain load, uh, under a certain axial load, but you'll notice that the strain itself, uh, it doesn't include the cross-sectional area in the equation. So we, uh, we could have a rod, let's say, with twice the cross-sectional area of this one and the same length, and if, as long as it undergoes the same deformation, delta here, then we would say that they're both experiencing the same normal strain. But for this to happen, though, we would need to apply twice as large of a force here. Um, but we'll get into that equation in a few videos, though. Uh, in this video, all I wanted to do was just to just introduce that normal strain here is just the deformation of a member per unit length.